Hey guys, I'm Adam here at Top Dog, and we're working today with Turkey, a dog who lacked a little bit of confidence when he first got here. And so we've been doing a lot of confidence building exercises, and believe it or not, this pile of trash in front of me is one of those confidence building exercises that we do. We call this our pool of confidence. And what it is is just a kiddie pool filled up with a whole bunch of water bottles. And it becomes a confidence building exercise because what we do is we actually feed the dog in that pool. And this is uh, Turkey's first day ever trying this, and so it's gonna be a little bit of a process for him. By the end of this process, we're hoping that he'll actually be putting all four paws into this pool, trying to find his treats. Now, the reason why this is so beneficial for a dog is because it works on multiple levels. One, everybody knows that their dog loves to use their nose. So when Turkey gets in here, he's gonna have to use his nose to move the bottles around to find his treats. Secondly, Dogs are very tactile about things, and so this provides a lot of tactile stimulation. The bottles are moving, they feel different, it's unsure footing. If he can overcome that, he can become a much more confident dog. Three, there's gonna be noises. Empty water bottles and pop bottles and stuff like that, they make noise when they clink around, and so there's gonna be some noise uh, obstacles for him to overcome as well. So the thing that makes all this work though is that we get to tap into the dog's instincts. Their hunt instinct to hunt around and root for that food is gonna help overcome all those other things, which is then in turn going to help boost his confidence. So we're gonna give it a shot right now. It might take a little bit. Like I said, this is his first day ever doing this, but hopefully we'll get to see Turkey, Turkey's confidence boosting a little bit as he tries to find his treats in there. Okay, three. Now I start by putting some a little closer to the edge. start moving them more into the middle. Now Turkey's used to doing some obedience training for treats, so he's probably thinking like, wait, how come you're not asking me to sit or something like that? And so what I'm going to do once I've dropped all these treats in is then I'm going to leave the picture and I'm just going to let Turkey try to figure this out on his own. There you can see him trying to do just about anything except put his paws in. So that's our first goal is to see if we can get him stepping in there. There, we have one foot in. Good boy. Two feet in. Good boy, turkey. Good boy. For our first session with a dog that's kind of nervous, this is excellent progress. Don't think that your dog has to get in with all four paws on their very first try. And be patient. Give your dog as much time as they want until they go ahead and kind of get bored with it before you give up on the exercise. We're going to let Turkey keep hunting for his treats. Hope everybody has a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time.